Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Monday. For all intensive purposes, this could be a beach somewhere in the United States. It is not. It's a beach right here in West Michigan. It is South Haven. Thanks for the city of South Haven for providing that shot. Beautiful day going on out there. It really does not get any better than this. This is more like uh, early to mid uh, September weather. Unseasonably warm temperatures continue today and tomorrow. Our next rain chance comes in tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon, but a better chance in the evening. Uh, maybe even a rumble of thunder in there. And then, as I need to stress, sharply cooler temperatures by Wednesday. So you can get out and enjoy this uh, either uh, today or tomorrow. But by Wednesday, it's going to be gone. We'll still have lots of sunshine on Wednesday, but it's going to be sharply cooler. And of course, all last week, we talked about what was Hurricane Ada. It is now and it just uh, gave feet of rain down to the uh, Central American uh, countries down there. It has now come across Cuba and it has dropped about a foot of rain down across places like Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And it's just north of the Keys out there right now. This is now tropical storm Ada at 60 mile per hour winds. That's the biggest threat now is going to be more rain for Florida. It'll track to the south and west and then take an abrupt right turn and then head to the north and then eventually northeast. Here's the timetable and it may, may, may make landfall as a tropical storm uh, in Florida's northwest uh, coast there later on this week and into the beginning of the weekend. So we'll continue to monitor that. I don't believe it'll be a player in our weather, but it is certainly worth monitoring. It's one of the most erratic uh, movements of hurricanes I've seen in some time here. As we look at live Doppler radar, we are dry. We've got mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Things look great out there and they certainly do feel great. Look at these temperatures. We're 70 right now in Grand Rapids, 73 in Muskegon. These temperatures are way above the normal high of 51 degrees. Hopefully you are enjoying and you like the warmer temperatures because as you would guess, it's not going to stick around long. And as you can see uh, from just past, here's the Mississippi River right here, just to the west of there, including Minneapolis into the west, there is an extremely sharp contrast in temperatures. That's where the front is. If you're out ahead of the front, you are in the mild air. That's where we're going to be today and tomorrow. But look at how much cooler it is behind that. There's a lot of moisture riding up along that front. And again, if you're in front of it, uh, where the warm air is, it's all rain. But along it and behind it, yeah, that's snow. And we're not looking for snow, but you could certainly see it on the map here. That blue is snow over the uh, northern plains. That's all rain. That's going to sweep in here likely tomorrow. Maybe in the afternoon, but more likely tomorrow evening, and we're going to have at least a chance of a few showers, and that's okay because it's been very dry around here. Maybe even a rumble of thunder, but we're not looking for severe weather, and we're not looking for snow behind this system either. Today, 75 degrees. Some of us may even exceed that. I'm um, thinking maybe 75, 76. Either way, we're going to break a record today because the record is 72 and 73 set back in previous years for this date. We'll have a south wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So again, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, unseasonably record warm temperatures. Here's what it looks like on the future track map at noon. Again, here's the dividing line, that front, that battle zone between warm and cold air. We're going to be out ahead of this front in the warm air and the dry conditions throughout the rest of today. There's nothing going on. And we'll probably see the clouds thick it up as we get into the overnight hours. We'll still be dry. I think we're going to see more cloud cover tomorrow. So probably partly sunny to mostly cloudy, generally dry through the day. But as this cold front and this low pressure system get a little bit closer, we'll see some showers, likely uh, maybe even a thunderstorm in there tomorrow evening. That will blast through and push the warm air out of here. Colder air will come in behind that system. We may start Wednesday with some cloud cover. I think we'll go to mostly sunny skies for the second part of Wednesday, but understand that these temperatures we've been feeling the last several days, they are going to go away big time. We'll have highs only in the upper 40s. So we're 75 today, 74 tomorrow, maybe an afternoon shower, but a better chance of evening showers and maybe a rumble of thunder tomorrow. And then behind that system, look at that, only a high of 49 degrees. And then as we get into Thursday, we may jump up into the low to mid 50s there. And then for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're in the upper 40s to around the low 50s. So you can see that's more of where we should be for this time of the year. 51 degrees. Savannah is the average high or normal high for this time of the year. So get out and enjoy the next two days because it's going away real soon.